Hi, I'm James, and in this video we're taking a look at Cinebench R20 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U and the Intel Core i5 1135G7. This starts with the multi-threaded test, which uses all the cores and threads available and runs these little sections all in parallel across all the resources of the processor. On the Ryzen chip, that means six cores with no SMT enabled on the 4500U, uh, meaning you have six cores but only six threads. Whereas on the Intel Core i5 1135G7, we have four cores, each with hyper-threading or SMT, simultaneous multi-threading, depending on the term you want to use, which allows for it to run eight threads in parallel. Now, this may sound like the Intel chip has an advantage, but because those are effectively just two threads sharing the resources of the processor, the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U actually delivers better performance. Although it is running fewer workloads or segments in parallel, it's completing them quicker, and that gives it overall a 23% performance increase across the duration of the test. Um, with that done, uh, we then look at the single-threaded version of the test, which will run in a moment. This works in exactly the same way, but only renders a single segment at a time. So the chips, because they are power-constrained in these laptops, um, are no longer limited so much in the clock speed that they can run at, uh, and obviously the greater core count of the AMD chip is nullified. And in this case, the Intel chip in single-threaded performance gives a 13% performance lead. So what we're seeing is, depending on the kind of workload you're going to be running on your system, um, you don't have an outright winner. If your work is predominantly single-threaded or just running on, across a couple of cores, and a lot of people's light usage will follow that use case, then the Core i5 may well give higher performance in these cases. On the flip side, if you are running multi-threaded workloads, uh, and it does vary obviously from application to application which one is going to benefit the most, but on the whole, if it's able to utilise you know, six threads, you would expect the Ryzen 5 4500U to come out ahead, just because it, it simply has more processing capacity. Um, the Intel chip does run at a higher max turbo speed, so goes up to about 4.2 gigahertz, and does appear to have a slight, um, you know, performance per uh, instruction per clock benefit as well. Uh, so it's not running 13% higher clock speed, but it is, you know, completing things that bit quicker. So, like I say, not a definitive winner. Uh, the Intel system does have more memory, but that was just to get it to a matching dual channel configuration. I wouldn't normally expect this to give a huge performance benefit in this test. I will also be looking at gaming performance on these two chips as well, and that is somewhere where we may well expect to see the Ryzen give a bigger benefit, particularly uh, when it comes to 3D gaming. I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know in the comments which chip that you would choose for your next laptop. Um, any questions you have, let me know and I will do my best to answer them as and when I can. Uh, like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe if you want to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.